Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Chums channel. Today we reviewing K2SO, a really awesome model kit. After and next to me we have a Boba Fett kit we we gonna build as well. But uh, today I wanna concentrate on this guy here. It's a big mess on my brother's desk. Um, I'm really sorry. It's just what it is. Is it is what it is. I can't help that. Then we have our own place, which will be in a couple of months, we will actually start purchasing an own house. So that will make it significantly better where I have my own little studio, because it's kind of hard to work my around this mess. But anyway, this is K2SO. Um, this is probably my favorite build so far of all the model kits. I love this guy. Um, super articulated. Uh, just looks super stunning. Of course, I didn't apply any of the water decals or stickers because I'm gonna paint it and weather it later on. I got a couple of these. I believe uh, I, I bought two or three of uh, KU's, these kits uh, for doubles and uh, custom paint jobs and whatnot. But man, this guy is really full of details. Let me zoom in a little bit or bring it in the camera and um, let's see if we can uh, get a, a bit more focus. 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 I'm using a wide angle lens at the moment, this camera, because I, I'm not too happy with this camera. I, I guess I have to replace this phone for a better camera. But um, yeah, um, really cool guy, super full of our, uh, details and articulation. I was initially hoping the fingers would articulate individually, but they don't. Only the thumb have an articulation, uh, but nonetheless, really dope. Uh, it's on a rocker. And um, yeah, this guy, is just, as I say, it's super articulated. And it has all the right proportions for a K2SO figure. Uh, it's it's very slim. Oops. It's a very slim guy. Um, just oh man, it's such a it's such a joy to build this guy. Um, it's a really fun build. It's a short build. You expect because of all the little details, etc. This guy is going to take long to build, but actually it doesn't. It was one of the shorter builds. Maybe also because I get a bit more familiar with building these model kits, but. Um, it was also a very uh, big departure from the R2 to R2D2 rocket booster uh, uh, figure because this one, this guy here, all the all the pieces and parts that came out of spruce were clean. Like the little knobs on them were so minimal, so it was so easy to clean up this guy. So I don't know if I had just had a bad kit that R2D2 uh, kit, if it just just a bad mold or kit because it had a lot of residue and. It was just a pain in the butt to build, and this guy was such a blast, unheard of. It's so cool. So um, I got a couple of these. I want to make one, I think, in some sort of a uh, weathered yellow, like he is like, and then have like a lot of like oil stains on certain areas, like making white and yellow or something, uh, like he's part of a, um, like he's reprogrammed and he's part of a. Uh, of a mining company, like uh, what we saw in uh, Star Wars The Rebels, like um, one of those illegal mining facilities, like he's doing work there or something. Um, so something like that. And then, um, yeah, well, of course, one make make him into the official uh, K2SO from Rogue One and uh, maybe, uh, yeah, make an army of them uh, walking in, a, in an alley or something with some uh, stormtroopers and whatnot. I don't know yet, but this is definitely one of my favorite with C-3PO. Uh, I would say C-3PO is still my favorite one of all the model kits from Bandai. And this is the second favorite. It's just, oh man, I, I just have something with these robots. They just so look so good. Um, all the parts here um, also snapped in really good. So um, I, I didn't have to do much uh, difficulty with this figure at all. Um, it also comes with a stand that you built. And the stand plugs in from this point into the back of his... Uh, this section here, it's now covered up by this little cover piece. I actually just put K2SO against it. I don't plug him in because I just want to have that back piece in there. Uh, but he's standing really nice. He doesn't fall over. I actually could just display him like this. I just have to position him a little bit better than some of the other model kits. But uh, that being said, um, highly recommend K2SO. It's just an awesome droid. Um, uh, it's just a really cool... Model kit. It's super detailed. Um, it just looks awesome. It's just so, so, so cool. A really cool model kit. And it towers over all the other model kits, even over Darth Vader, etc. It's just a huge, huge, huge uh, uh, character. So I, I highly recommend it. It's a, a really fun build. Um, not too difficult. Definitely on the low end of, uh, on, the, on the skill level. 
and the results are just amazing. Like it's so, so, so cool. So I highly recommend uh, K2SO. Um, get a couple of them if you can, because Rogue One isn't the most famous Star Wars movie out there. So um, consequently, their model kits are a bit more affordable than uh, and discounted more often than some of the other um, Star Wars movie uh characters uh yeah i'm gonna get more of this guy um i just love how 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 well it comes out of the spruces and uh, what it can do and it feels like a fully articulate figure uh that just it's just so amazing it just it's so cool i i re I, I, I cannot stop talking about this guy how cool k2so is highly recommend this guy really cool so let me know um if you have k2so as well uh, what you what your thoughts about him are or her depending how you look at uh, k 2 so can be in her if you want um, But uh, yeah, how you look at him her and um, and are you gonna get one based on this review or are you? Um, were already planning to get a k2so and uh, what are your plans in terms of painting etc? Uh, let me know I uh, highly recommend if you're not into uh, Star Wars model kits um, just check out, get one yourself, build it, and you will see how much fun it is to actually have end results like this in your hand and display it on your shelves and paint it and whatnot. It's just truly amazing. Love Bandai Star Wars model kits. So thanks for watching, guys. I hopefully see you in the next video uh, where we're going to review uh, this guy next to me, Boba Fett. See you. Bye-bye.